Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the custom matchers. So what is this custom matchers? Up to now in the previous video, we have learned all the different types of predefined matchers that are available in the Jasmine we have seen. So now if you want, now the matchers what are available in the Jasmine is not suitable for you in our, when writing the spec means. You want to develop a custom matcher. That means you want to develop your own matcher. If you want to develop means how we can develop. That is nothing but a custom matcher. So let's try to see this one custom matcher. What is a custom matcher and how to build a custom matcher. Let's try to see in this video. So Jasmine's built-in matchers are very useful and works well in most scenarios. So as we already learned the different types of matchers. So if you want to learn more about the matchers means you can all you can go to the Jasmine uh, uh, official website and in that one in the matchers you can see all the different types of matchers that are available. So now what I want to tell you is the, the matchers what we have seen up to now the built in matchers that are very useful so and almost all the scenarios it will solve. However sometimes we need to develop the custom matchers to implement specific scenarios. For example if you are having a do, uh, if you want to develop domain specific uh, uh, scenarios something like in your domain specific means in your project based thing if you want to develop some custom matchers some matchers means so you can use these custom matchers and you can develop a custom matcher at its root is a comparison function so what I can say is nothing a, compa a custom matcher is nothing but it is a comparison function only a matcher itself is a comparison function so it will give you either true or false so in the same scenario, uh, what I can say is custom matcher is also a comparison one that takes the actual value and a expected value. So the comparison function, it, uh, it will take the actual value and the expected value. <coughs> the custom matcher method should return an object. So whenever, whenever you are defining a custom matcher method, so it should return an object and in that object you need to have a property with the, with the name compare. And, in, and that compare should be a function. So this is the thing I am trying to explain here. The custom matcher method should return an object with a compare function. So that means compare uh, uh, property you will be having. That property is nothing but the value will be a function. That will be called to check the expectation. So whenever you are calling this custom matcher means. Uh, so this compare function will check the expectation. So now how it will be is constant custom matcher. This is the variable. And this one should return an object. So as we already discussed, this one should return an object. And in that object, you need to have a compare function. So compare the property and the function. And this function will have a parameters of actual and expected. We'll try to see. So this is the thing what I try to explain. A custom matcher method should return an object with a compare function. So it should return an object with a compare function. The compare function receives the value passed to expect as the first argument. So whatever the value you are passing to the expect, so that will be passed as a first argument to the uh, first argument to the compare function and the, the actual and the value passed to the matcher itself is the second argument. So the what I can say is the set the first argument will be the expected value that means nothing but the actual value and the second one will be the whatever the data you are passing to the matcher it will be a second argument. So here you will be able to see compare function and the first one is an actual value the data which you are trying to pass in the expect method. And the expected is nothing but whatever the data you are trying to pass it in the matcher method. Okay. This is this is the compare. So this is the compare property and this function will have two parameters or arguments. That is nothing but actual and the expected. The, com the compare function must result. Now this compare, now you understood that uh, demonstration of the compare function. How the compare uh, uh, function should be. Now what is what what should that compare function should return. So that compare function must return a result object. So it also has to return it return an object with a pass property. So it should have that object should have a property of pass that should that is a boolean result that is nothing but the result of the matcher. So we already in the previous videos we have learned that the matcher is nothing but which re, which returns that boolean value. So that boolean value is nothing but this pass property. So this compare function now this compare function should return an object and in that object you need to have a pass property. So true or false should be a boolean value. The pass property tells the expectation whether the matcher was successful or unsuccessful. So if the pass property pa is true means then the matcher is successful or if it is false means then it was unsuccessful. So the pass property decides, decides the expectation. If left undefined, so that means if it is now if it is failed or something like that means the expectation will attempt to create a failure message for the, uh, for the matcher. So for example if it is undefined or if it is failed means 
so the expectation will attempt to uh, design, to craft means to design the failure message to throw to give a failure message for that message, matcher however if the return value has a message property so along with the pass property if the if the return value also has a message property means that message will be displayed as a failed expectation for example let's say that you have written expectation and that expectation has been failed means so now the spec has to show, show some message why it has been failed so now if you in the compare function along with the pass property you pass the if you pass the message property also that message will be shown as the failure message so this is the thing what we try to explain now the entire thing will be something like this so here the return the matcher should return an object and it should contain a compare function and the compare function should contains this actual and expected value so actually is actually is nothing but the value that is uh, passed through the expect method and this expected is the value that is sent through the matcher and this compare function return uh, in return returns the object again the result object and this object contains two properties that is pass and the message so message is spelling wrong here m a m e s s a g a it will be so pass true means so this if it is true means then now the spec is passed if the pass is failed means now the spec is failed if the message has some message means so if the message property is present and it has some message means this message will be shown into the spec as a result of the fail failure so this is how we will be writing the custom matcher so now you have now you have completed the custom matcher the creation of the custom matcher is completed so you have created a custom matcher and that one uh, you have created the compare function and that compare function is returning a um, object that is uh, nothing but with the pass pass property and also the message property it is trying to return now it is finished now you want to use this custom matcher in your spec so how can we use this how can we use this custom matcher so for using this custom matcher first we need to register the custom matcher so whatever the custom matcher you have created first of all you need to create you need to register it so how we can register this custom matcher is using the method jasmine dot add matchers okay using this jasmine dot add matchers so you can you can uh, you can you can register the custom matchers and you can uh, after 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 registering this one after registering the custom matchers using this add matchers method and you can use that custom matchers wherever you want so once a custom matcher is registered with jasmine it is available in on any expectation so you can use it in the any expectation you want so once a custom matcher is registered so this is all about the custom matchers so what is this custom matcher so whenever you whenever you want to create your own matcher according to your domain specific language means then you can you can create this custom matchers so what is what will this custom matcher contains is in return what i can say is it contains it returns an object and in that object it has a compare function and in return that compare function also returns an object which contains a pass and a message simple thing so this is all about the custom matcher so hope you understood about this custom matcher in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to do the see the we'll try to see the practical implementation by creating our own custom matcher i will try to explain it to you hope you understood about this custom matcher if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you